so crazy. I mean, did you ever think that one day the kid you used to babysit would be your boss? I honestly never did. So, uh, you said I'm going to be giving makeovers and stuff like that? Totally. I used to be the one giving makeovers, but the guy that owns this place said that I look too scary and like a vampire. No, really? I know, right? Real talk, I think he just likes to start drama, which I hate. That's why I got this. Oh, uh-huh. Down to earth. Please tell me that's fake. It is. So I can show the tattoo artist where I want the real one to go? Obvi. Brittany, wow. You know, when I used to babysit you, I had no idea that you were gonna turn out so, um, interesting. Okay, I get called that all the time. But it's just because people can't put me in some convenient tub. Don't you mean box? No, Bex, tub. Because I'm a very multifaceted person. I think that's multifaceted. Oh. Oh. So, where do you want me to start? Start anywhere you want. Only, can you want to start by cleaning out the masks in the costume department? Someone tried them on and got concealer in all the noses. Thank you, love you, heart you, XOXO. <laughs> Customer, handle. We gotta get home. Brittany? Hi. I have an emergency. I know I've only been here a week, but I promise you I'll never ask this again. Go. Really? Yes. Thank you. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Brittany. Was this your emergency? You had to have a party? Kind of. I can explain. Don't bother. The whole mom thing? Crazy. I just heard. Was that the guy that used to come over when you were babysitting? What guy? There was no guy. Is this her? Hi, I'm Brittany. Andy. <sighs> She's precious. Those glasses over there, they're great. We just got them in. Ooh. I love them. And black light paint, obviously. Uh-huh, here you go. A ninja costume? Yeah, never hurts to have one on hand. <gasps> You're gonna need air freshener. I think it's gonna make a huge mess. We'll take 20. <laughs> Great job, Bex. It looks fantastic. I just wanna make a few little tweaks. Bex? <gasps> oh, Bex! I got it. I'll fix it. Oh. I'm so sorry. She's new. Brittany? Yeah? Brittany, you remember my mom? Oh, yes, of course. Hi, Mrs. Mack. How are you? Did you ever get that stain out of your rug? No. It's right where you dropped your jelly toast because you refused to use a plate. Hmm. I have some stuff I need to do in the back. Nice seeing you again, Mrs. Mack. Not... You're late. Actually, I'm early. We have a problem. We do? Please, I need you to focus. Wait, is there really a problem? Yes, Bex, it's major. Life-threatening. Well, what is it? What do you need me to do? My makeup. <sighs> right, you were always good at that, scaring me even when you were four. Oh, come on. I was just showing you I could hold my breath for a very long time. And I don't think you're gonna call an ambulance. Smock me. Every year, my sorority throws this epic party, the black and white ball. It's tonight, and I literally need to slay everyone. Figuratively. Literally, don't know what you're talking about. So what are we doing here? Something simple, yet timeless. Classic, that's never been done. In other words, you want the impossible. Ah! Brittany, you okay? No, I am not okay. I'm Maggie 
magnificent. It does look really good. Especially if you don't open your mouth. Like you're out of a black and white movie. When my sorority sisters see me, they are going to loathe me with the white hot resentment that'll burn until their final breath. <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you! <sighs> you are a genius. You are the Stephen Hawking of pressed powder. You should really consider doing this for a living. I do. Really? Where? Here. Oh no, I mean in the real world, this is the fringe. People come here to buy fart machines and socks that smell like bacon. I don't want anyone to see me yet. <sighs> Except me. Bex, pizza? Uh, I can't let pizza anywhere near this. Well, don't worry, it's not for you. Do you mind moving it somewhere I can't smell it? Who's Bowie? I like that name. Andy's father. Oh, so your high school boyfriend. Bex and Bowie. <laughs> so fun. Are you guys back together? Um. You're not. That's good. High school boyfriends don't keep well. I didn't say that. All I said was, um. That's all you needed to say. Just listen to your um. You should know that by now. Aren't you like 40? No. I'm not 40. Mm -hmm. You think I'm 40? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm restocking the nail polish. In that order? I thought the visible spectrum was a safe bet. You don't organize them by color. You organize them by feeling. <sighs> it's supposed to go happy, fancy, flirty, edgy, angry, dangerous. Where do controlling and bossy go? <sighs> Silly, those aren't colors. Oh, I'm actually waiting for someone. Cyrus? Funny kid, likes cardigans, sometimes runs into the door. That's him. Yeah, he said he wanted to meet me about- About the screenplay. I know, me too. Why would- we... Excuse me. Who's ready to make a movie? Spielberg? It's us. We're gonna shoot Disillusionment of Souls. You said that was a working title. It is because it's totally working. Even better, it's pretentious. The Ivy League schools love pretentious. Isn't making a whole movie just a little bit ambitious? That's why I'm assembling a great team. And I thought you could be the producer because none of this would be happening without you. Oh, please don't put this all on me. And he asked me to be the star. Well, because obvious. You read it. Not yet. Did you bring my copy? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Pause! I just decided what I'm wearing to the Oscars. <laughs> Play! Aren't we getting a little ahead of ourselves? She's right, she's right. First there's the Independent Spirit Awards. You'll want to wear something a little more casual for that. <gasps> Bex! You have terrible taste. And not just in tops. Excuse me? This script, it's awful. A ping pong mystery in space? I know, it's bad. So why haven't you told him? He's just so excited about it. He's like a little puppy who's really, really excited about his script. Okay, well in the meantime, I'm stuck playing Rafalka 19, an alien table tennis phenom with tentacles of steel and two hearts of gold. Okay, okay, I never should have let it get this far. I just can't hurt his feelings. Well, I can. So either you tell him the truth or I will. Are these all appointments for you to do makeup? Yeah, I even have a wait list around here somewhere. 
Congratulations, Bex. I'm so happy for you. In other news, free makeovers at the Fringe are no longer free. I can't just start charging for them. Yes, you can. Things have been kind of slow around here. In fact, I was this close to laying you off. You were? Not anymore. Now that you're the top-rated cosmetologist on Welp. I can't be. I just got my license. I'm the top-rated cosmetologist on Welp. Haven't you read your reviews? Wow. They love me. Who are they? <laughs> oh, Bex. You don't have to play coy with me. I'm not playing coy. It seems like you're the one that's playing coy. We both know you wrote those reviews. I did not! I would never. Bex Mac is not just the best cosmetologist in Shadyside. She's also a true artist with an infectious personality. Signed, Marian Shrensky. You're not Marian Shrensky? No. Do you know a Marian Shrensky? No. How about Amy Young? No. Carla Romero? Brooke Butler. If these reviews are fake and you didn't write them, who did? My mother. Thank you. Are you back, Smack? She's over there. Do you have an appointment? No. But what I do have is a cease and desist letter from my lawyer. Uh, I'll be right back. Is there a problem? Oh, don't do that. Don't play coy with me. Why does everybody think I'm playing coy? You know, it's one thing to post fake five-star reviews for yourself. We've all done that. But what you can't do is trash your competitors. You really can't. I didn't. Right. When I hired Zoe to do my wedding makeup, I'm Zoe, I asked her to make me look like a blushing bride. But instead, she turned me into the bride of Frankenstein? Really? No stars. OK, I didn't write that. Oh, right. Right, right, right. It was, um, Marion Shrensky? <gasps> Marion Shrensky! All I can say, darling, is I hope you have a really good lawyer. Because I think I just found my star witness for when I sue you.